All right, so let's talk about the Hydra. I have it installed. I, uh, I've done a bit of use on it. It's not terrible. Um, but keep in mind, there's a few things that don't work well. And if you're trying to utilize it for other purposes, you're going to have a hard time with it. Um, one thing for sure is larger wheels do fit in here slightly, but there is a problem. I have a video here I'll show um, that will indicate that they don't fit in perfect. And if you roll with a line where they're really thick near the top section, they actually get stuck on the inside ridges and causing you a lot more issues to print with. So keep that in mind. Um, the other big thing that I have a problem with, um, maybe it won't affect others, is that it does not work with my adapters. Um, so when the lid is closed, it actually pushes on the PFTFE tube and actually jams the filament. Um, the other thing that I'm not too fond of is the fact that they added an extra five degrees bend to the actual things um, backwards, um, which means the filament goes in at a harder, steeper angle which might work in some cases. Um, I'm finding it actually was doing more pulling, especially with the lower the roll gets, the more it was actually causing an issue. So that's also something you need to keep in mind when using them. Um, but I mean, if you're using the their adapters that they created with them, I didn't try them, I don't have them. Um, with the PTFE, P, yeah, PFTE, I think it was confused. Um, it might work better, uh, but keep in mind that actually degree tilt does create a little bit of extra issue. Um, the other problem that's with these is that it does not still accept properly when it comes to your smaller rolls. Yes, they have the adapter, sorry. So they have their adapter they put in that you slide into the section. It works okay. Um, I'm finding the problem is it's not the design itself, it's small rolls. And what happens is small rolls, when they're going into the roller, as they're in, they tend to actually rub against the portion here or get jammed, and it's these that cause the issue. So even though designed to make it work properly, um, the little devices and the moving ability does give it some slight movement. If the small roll is too small, it doesn't work anyways, and there's too much drift to the side, so it's gonna, you know, one way or the other is gonna jam somewhere, or it's sort of jumping, it, it's not a good way to do it. Um, so keep that in mind as well. Um, overall, they are a great print. I'm going to be putting mine back to stock. Um, I wanted to try it out. I didn't really like it. And um, we're going to go back to stock. But as far as the review goes, I'll give it like four stars. Um, it's still really good. Um, for my use, it doesn't work. But keep in mind too that larger rules still have a problem. And with this one, I had to move it in the ring, ring pin. I don't have a picture of it, but it'll bring it forward more. So it would fit, but then even if I wanted to, my lid won't close because it, it actually rubs against my lid. So then they have a, you know, a boost piece that you can actually lift your lid up with, put in more extra work for things that I don't need. And like I'll show you in the video here after I'm done, it uh, where it rubs it, it's not going to do me any good anyways. As for regular rolls, they work okay. Um, there is the two groove sets I've worked inside. Still the same problem. Um, they will rub. If they're too far out to the side, you'll find that you're like, hitting the edge on either side. Um, so as a review itself, you know, use it at your own risk. Obviously there is parts you have to reinstall. It is kind of a pain in the butt. It takes about a half hour um, and um, it's not super hard. It's really easy to do. You just follow the pattern, take a picture and follow that um, so you know what wires go where. But, you know, use it like that and uh, hopefully, you know, you have better luck with it than I do. I know they're popular. Everyone has them, but they don't work for me. But uh, good luck, happy printing, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Every time it catches those little grooves down there, the wider rolls don't accept, and then it doesn't spin as nicely, and it gets caught on these little rollers here and doesn't retract as nicely as it's supposed to. It's a lot of friction catching on the outer edge walls and it doesn't matter where you put it, it doesn't work as nicely as you'd expect it to.